this one is the first ever uh, chainsaw that I've purchased and I purchased it for one specific purpose which is to cut down all these Indian pine into firewood. Now these Indian pines were used for construction purpose, the construction is completed so there is no particular use for these Indian pine. So I wanted to chop them into small logs like firewood and use it as firewood. Also there was a tree that was fallen here, it was rotten, there is no uh, use for that and I wanted to convert that into logs and turn that into firewood as well. If I had to hire people to come and do this job for me, uh, the cost of labor was as much as the cost of a chainsaw. And I cannot uh, rent a chainsaw because it's not affordable. It's 500 rupees a day and I'm working from home and I do this at my convenience. So it was not kind of feasible for me. So the best option for me was to invest in a chainsaw. Now that I've purchased it, mm, let me just go ahead and do the unboxing and show it to you as to what is there inside the box and uh, how hard or easy it is to assemble the kit. I can understand that this is not a good place to do an unboxing video but I want to get to work as soon as I assemble the chainsaw. This is an electric chainsaw from the brand Ibel. And one more thing, this video is not sponsored. Like I mentioned earlier, I bought this chainsaw for one specific purpose, which is to cut all of these tree logs and clear this mess. With that said, uh, chainsaw is not a very easy piece of equipment. I mean, you have to be extremely careful, do your research before handling one of these machines. Okay. The first thing we find in the box is a chain guard and a chain guide. Then there is an instruction manual. Then comes the chain. And finally, the body of the chainsaw. There is nothing in the box other than these four items like accessories or tools etc. To assemble the kit, the cover has to be removed by unscrewing this part here. Next, check where the chain tensioning screw is. Then we can place the chain guide on the slot and make sure the tension screw is aligned to the right hole. Tighten it a little bit and the chain guide will stay on it temporarily. Before attaching the chain, double check the direction in which the chain needs to be attached. We can now lay the chain on the chain guide. This step needs care and wearing cut resistant gloves is advisable. Finally, the cover can be put back again and we are good to go. There is one important step. We need to fill up the recommended engine oil. Never run the chainsaw without engine oil. And when not in use, keep the chain covered with the provided chain guard. If you press the engage lever, it wouldn't move. It wouldn't work. That's because you need to press this small button here on top which will release oil and simultaneously allow you to use the chainsaw. Once the chainsaw starts, you can let go of the smaller switch. You see that fallen tree and a few logs over there that is all cut and set up in here. As much as I want to, I will not be able to tell you more about the chainsaws because one, I'm not qualified and I'm not experienced yet. But before using this chainsaw, I was using its nefarious cousin, which is the angle grinder chainsaw attachment. It was good for small jobs, if you are, that is if you are careful, but when you do a slanting cut or something like that, the whole unit kind of skips out and uh, the chain gets stuck and the, ang it, the angle grinder comes loose and it's very fiddly, you'll have to put all of that together and go for it again. So it's good only for small jobs, not heavy duty work like this. See, learning about the chainsaw as a machine, uh, as a piece of equipment is, is one thing and learning how to cut a log or a tree is an entirely different thing. 
like for example i was on top of a stool and i was trying to cut the branch of a tree the branch it kind of fell and it knocked the stool out and i had to jump on the ground with a running machine a lot of things could have gone wrong that day and let me tell you it was my lucky day and i just escaped and with a few scrapes so nothing much happened but that kind of gave me a lesson so uh, learning how to handle the machine is one thing and learning how to cut tree logs is another entirely another thing so you'll have to do research on both of these sides and try and possibly do a lot of study on how to use this thing safely and then kind of go into the whole process of uh, owning your own chainsaw and then cutting your logs and, and stuff like that there is no point in getting hurt um, trying to save a few bucks so uh, care must be taken at all times i hope this video was in some way useful to you guys i'll see you in my next one until then bye bye